welcome back to my channel mini reviews i hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are now in this video we are doing a high-end versus a drugstore product now i'm sure you guys are aware of all the fuss right now going around the l'oreal and Famalable. <laughs> 24 hour um matte foundation or powder foundation here it is so i did of course run to my nearest cvs and i grabbed the i grabbed my shade this one is the 120 linen i believe and i had to of course test it out but I thought, let me go and grab a high-end one and let's compare both. So I went and I grabbed the Too Faced Born This Way powder foundation as well. This was is in the nude. Um, this is the color nude. And I thought it would be a great idea to try to test both of them to see which one looks better and to see what we think we, I don't know, just to see which one looks better, right? Um, now, the L'Oreal is for $14.99, which is a little bit of a pricier drugstore product. And the Too Faced, I believe it was like $39 or $37. So there is a huge difference. And yeah, this is what I have for you today. Now, I did go in with half of my face L'Oreal, half of my face Too Faced. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which one do you think is my Too Faced and which one do you think is my L'Oreal? What do you guys think? I don't know. It looks pretty close. It looks pretty close. Um, but yeah, this is what we have for you. This is what I have for you today. And I bought these so you don't have to. I'm going to test these out so you don't have to go spend your money. Let me do that part. And then let me go ahead and tell you what I think is better and what I recommend. So you're going to go ahead and continue watching this video. Please continue watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. started now i am going to go ahead and moisturize my face i'm going in with my same moisturizer that i go into or in with put that all over my face now my skin is pretty bad right now where it leaves in this area and it's more so because look how red they are because i've been picking at them and that's the one thing that we shouldn't be doing but i cannot control myself sometimes i just have to like at it after that i like to go into my everyday primer that i like to use by the same brand and i've done multiple videos on the primer so if you're interested i can link those down below for you and kind of put that all over my face as well okay so because we are going to go in with a powder product i want to go ahead and conceal and do all that beforehand because my concealers are a cream product and you don't want to go in with concealer after you have powder product on your face it's just not a good idea it's not a good mix so i'm going to go ahead and go in with my tarp shaped concealer like i normally do and put that on the outer corner of the eye or like right underneath my eye and then i like to go in with my color pop concealer and that's going to be like towards the inner corner just to give me some brightness, some light. Now, because I do have some blemishes, I do wanna go ahead and just add a little bit of concealer right here. I'm gonna just put some on the back of my hand because I don't wanna use the applicator for that. And then go with my finger and just put it right where I have those like really annoying dots in my face. Oh, that's a mole. <laughs> that's not a blemish. And I have a little scar right there. And I'm going to go in with a brush and kind of just blend all that out. Like so. And then I'm going to use the same brush and just blend my concealer out. Let me grab a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I honestly do love this brush. This is from Real, Techni Real Techniques brush. And it's a really good brush. I love it also for like eye makeup. But it's just such a perfect like little fluffy brush. That can blend out concealer as well. I honestly forgot how good this brush was to blend out my concealer. I don't know why I stopped using it. I need to buy another one so I can use one for my eye makeup. 
and then one to conceal. <laughs> The power of concealer, y'all. I'm telling you, you need concealer in your life. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about the powder foundations that we're going to be using today. We're going to be testing the store brand L'Oreal versus a high-end brand, which is this two by two face, right? Now the L'Oreal is a 24 hour fresh wear foundation powder. It's supposed to be a full coverage matte powder foundation. And here it is. It does also come with a beautiful small mirror for on the go. Hello. And it also comes with a little spongy thing that we're going to use today as well. And the other item is the Too Faced Born This Way Powder Foundation. This one is oil free. Let me see if this one is oil free, guys. Give me one moment. So it doesn't say. So this one is oil free and it's supposed to be. It has co infused with coconut water, um, alpine rose, hyaluronic acid. So that's a big plus for me. And it's saying that 96% said that this formula felt comfortable on the skin. 95% said that um, the formula helped control shine. 90% said that the formula provided a natural coverage. And 91% said this formula made their skin look smoother. So it's saying it's supposed to be, so this item is also a full coverage foundation. So it's supposed to be also full coverage. So I'm going to try the L'Oreal on my left side and the Too Faced on my right side. Wait, let me first, let's take a look at this one. What do you see this one? So the packaging, of course, standard Too Faced packaging, really, really beautiful. And this is the L'Oreal. So I mean, I guess this one was, I think, like $39, $36. I'm not quite sure. I need to check my receipt. Um, but this is what the items look like side to side. And here we go. So looking at the um, how much product they contain, the L'Oreal has a 0.31 ounces worth of products, and the Born This Way has 0.35 ounces worth of products. So you get a little bit more product with the Too Faced brand. And this is what it looks like as well. It has a little mirror, and it has a little protectant. And this is what it looks like and it also has a little sponge thingy that we're going to be using today as well so then let's just get started we're gonna use the same applicators it came with because why not right so it would be on the go kind of foundation powder i'm gonna go in with my l'oreal first i'm gonna get in there i'm gonna use the mirror to see if it's any good um I hope you can see a difference. So that's looking really nicely. It, it is covering my blemishes, but we did, of course, go in with concealer. Let me go on my forehead. The product actually feels really, really nice. It feels like it's really smooth. I'm going under my eye. Ooh, bring it this way. Let me get a bigger mirror, guys, because I need a bigger mirror. I'm going to go ahead and just set my eye as well. I'm trying to get as close as possible so you guys can see. That actually looks really, really pretty. Can you guys see the difference between foundation between powder foundation and just my bare skin i feel like it looks a little bit smoother than my actual skin from my face i think it looks really really pretty i hope you guys can see how pretty that looks i don't know if maybe my lights are a little bit too bright let me see oh no no so that's all you're gonna get okay so i'm gonna get as close as possible to see if you guys can see my face without any products, just uh, concealer. And then this one where I have the powder foundation on already from L'Oreal. Honestly, it looks really, really pretty. Um, I feel like 
it did cover my blemishes again i did go in with concealer before but i think my face looks really like this half looks really really nice so that's how that looks with the l'oreal powder foundation the drugstore brand and now let's go in with our Too Faced born this way to see how that looks let's have a go and sorry before i forget my shade for the l'oreal was was 180 linen linen 180 linen linen and for my born for my two fades i just got the nude shade and let's see how this feels oh it's a lot of product let's do a test well that's like really like yellow right that looks a little bit like a yellow more of a yellow undertone oh maybe i went with the wrong shade y'all okay so i feel like it's two different colors what you can tell right here the born the two-faced one it's more of a yellow undertone i could have sworn i went in as closely as possible to try to match it. Now I don't know which one is my. Okay, so now I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I went in with a little bit less product on this side. Let me try to do more right here and cover. I have like a spot, just like white spot right there. I'm gonna cover that up. What do you guys feel? I feel like this, I think I just, I think it's just the wrong shade, to be honest. I feel like the one before this was a little bit too light for me. I thought it was going to be too light for me. But I do feel like this is more of a true match for me. Because you can see like my neck. And then, I mean, they both look really pretty right besides the... The difference of color um i think they both they both look really really nice um i do feel like this one is more of a uh fuller coverage for me i think or maybe it's just the tone oh no i'm trying to figure out no for sure this one looks like it's more of a true full coverage um Again, this side is not bad at all, especially for $14.99. I think it looks really, really pretty. My only thing is that I feel like now my face is not matching. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this for sure is my true shade. This one, I think it's a little bit too dark for me. No, but I do love like the overall finishing. Of, oh, I do like how that looks though. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just go on, continue to see how the rest of the face looks when we add the additional products. Now I'm gonna go in with uh, my Marc Jacobs bronzer and kind of just warm up the face a little bit. Under my jaw, temples of my forehead, you know, all the good spots that we wanna really bronze. So that I can go in a little bit less on this side. No. Okay, so that is done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna go in with some blush. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. blush. I love this stuff so much. Um, I feel like I've shown this blush hundreds of times in my videos. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe. This one is the M536. I'm just going to focus that right there such a beautiful beautiful shade y'all and then on this side and then down my nose i'm looking to see how it looks on top of the powder foundation on both sides so far i am liking this side a little bit more than i do this side because i feel like if it just looks like it's more of a true full coverage this side versus this side 
I feel like on this side, you can see some of my like imperfections a little bit right here. And I feel like it's not really going into my skin. It's like on top of like my, I don't know. Just this side looks a little bit smoother so far. So let's go ahead and just um, use some highlight. I'm going to go in with, of course, my Jacqueline Hill highlight. Y'all, she went live with her new launch and I'm in, I'm waiting on the website, right? It says something, something. It's like a red thing because it hasn't gone live yet. The moment I go when it goes live, everything was sold out. I was so sad, but I mean... I'm so happy for her. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Um, I just wish I had the opportunity to get my hands on the new stuff because she has good highlights. So I'm going to go in and just highlight. I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush. I don't know if I said that already. Oof, look at that highlight, girl. I'm going to go in on just on top of my eyebrow bone or my eyebrow and then on my eyebrow bone, down my nose, just all the places where you want to blind people. Just all the places that you normally would highlight. Okay, now I'm going to go in super, I'm going to keep it really, really simple. I'm going to go in with my ColourPop. This one is the Saguario Jelly Much. Um, look how pretty that looks. That is so pretty eyeshadow i'm gonna go in with my finger that is so beautiful you guys that is just so beautiful gorgeous i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye as well whoa i went a little bit too hard on this one let's use the other fingers to try to diffuse that craziness that is so pretty i'm gonna go more now on this side okay and now Let's leave it alone. That, and then I'm gonna just pop some mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and just tweeze my lashes. I did purchase the Aero Volume mascara from L'Oreal. No me gusto. La verdad que no me gusto. I did not like it, but this is expensive, so I'm gonna use it. Ugh, you see, I'm already, I messed up. I messed up, that was not on me, that was on the stupid sucky mascara. Just kidding. Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't use it because I honestly just don't like this one. Ugh. Okay. Now I have to just let that dry a little bit and try to clean that off. Okay, now I want to go in with the lippy stick or with some kind of, um, I don't know. I have a few options. These are from ColourPop. This one is a Osnap, 1000% and Goldie right here and then i also have this beautiful rare beauty and this one is courage oh cute so these are the shades i don't know which one i should get i don't know which one i should put on i feel like they're all they're a little, a little bit similar look at me trying to branch out um i think i want to go in with goldie oh it's gonna be too dark no 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 Oh snap, let's go with oh snap. Let's see. Oh, so pretty. So pretty, but I don't know if it's gonna just wash me out. Such a beautiful shade, honestly, it's so pretty. It's really nice. I wonder if I add a little bit of Rare Beauty. Oh yeah, this is much deeper. I feel like it's the same thing, guys. It's the same crap. I mean, it's pretty, it's cute. Okay, so this is the finishing look. This side is going to be the Too Faced Born This Way Powder Foundation. This is the finishing look. I'm gonna go ahead and try to give you all the angles, try to give you close-ups as well, so you can see which one looks better. Really pretty. And then this one is the L'Oreal one. And now this one is the L'Oreal One Full Coverage Powder Foundation. And again, I want to go ahead and give you all the angles so you can see how it looks. And this is my face together. Now, I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm not going to lie. I like the way my face looks. I like the way that is, 
it was a pretty fast process right to try those powder foundations i always have like um again for me whatever works and whatever is the fastest i'm going to kind of um i'm drawn to that product because i need i mean i work i need something that's gonna make me look decent it's not gonna scare someone right and get out the door and go on about my day whatever i gotta do that day now i love the way the outcome looks to be quite honest with you however I have to say it, I really do, because I love my drugstore products. I think they're really, really good, and I love the quality of it, but I have to give it to Too Faced Born This Way, guys. I'm sorry, I know. I know it's a little bit more pricey. Trust me, I know. But if my face just looks really, really like smooth. It looks really nice. I think the product went on top of it, really, really beautiful. And it looks more of a matte, right? It looks like it's going to stay on my face all day. Now, my L'Oreal side, my drugstore side, it honestly looks really pretty. It's not a bad product. I will recommend it for you. If you wanted to get something that was pretty and less inexpensive, go grab the L'Oreal one. You're not gonna be disappointed, you won't. It's a beautiful, it looks really nice. But I just ultimately love the way the finishing on for the Born This Way, the Too Faced one. It looks more matte. It's more matte. It looks like it really did do what it was supposed to. I just love the way it looks. It looks like it's more of a full coverage. So, I mean, again, it's really up to you as your preference. If you tell me no, tell me which one I should get. What, which one I should get. What do you recommend? Then I 1000% recommend the Too Faced Born This Way one. If you're able to splurge a little bit on a powder foundation, please go grab this one. It's beautiful. I love the finishing look of it. It looks really, really nice. I like how smooth it made, uh, it made my face. On this side, you can see, I'm trying to get really, really close in. Now, I want to get in as close as possible. I don't want to scare you. But like right here, I don't know if you can see my texture a little bit. On this side, I feel like it looks really, really nice and smooth versus this side. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I can for sure tell. It's just something about this area that is just not looking so smooth. And yeah, I just, I love, I really do love this side a lot more. I'm going to, of course, continue to utilize both of them because I bought them and I don't like to go return things. But yes, I'm gonna continue to use this one absolutely. And I'm gonna use this one, not a big deal. They're both are very, very beautiful. But because we are doing a comparison of a high-end product versus a drugstore product, I have to give it to my um, high-end this time. Beautiful, beautiful finish. I just love the way it looks. It looks beautiful. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know if you did go ahead and try this one out or if you went and you, you bought this one. Let me know what you think. Maybe you have a different preference than what I have. I'm very interested to see those comments and to kind of see what you prefer. Uh, but again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. And please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.